Meghan and Harry's £11 million new family home is a fully-fledged hotel in Montecito. From luxury spas to tennis courts, Rince Harry and Meghan live with their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. In a stunning mansion in Montecito, California, and it will soon be home to their baby girl, too. The couple swapped their UK base, Frogmore Cottage in Windsor, for the beautiful US property which they purchased in June 2020. From a spa to a tennis court and even their own private playground for their children to enjoy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's luxurious amenities could rival that of a five-star hotel. There may be no public photos of Harry and Meghan's bedroom. But Home Advisor previously reconstructed the space as a 3D floor plan, complete with digitally rendered interiors. It showed that the couple's suite features four separate areas, an outdoor terrace, the bedroom, an in-suite bathroom and a dressing room. The bedroom features a large bed with two matching bedside tables at either side, and a chaise long at the end. While the bathroom has a white tub, a single sink, a shower, and a separate toilet cubicle. The dressing room has storage at one side, and a seating area with two chairs next to the window at the other. As for the outdoor space, the bedroom opens to a terrace via double French doors with wooden frames. Where the Duke and Duchess of two white armchairs, a matching sofa, and two wooden tables. The Duchess of Sussex first unveiled the couple's living room during a surprise appearance on America's Got Talent. In the background there were several references to Meghan and Harry's lives. In a stack of books, A Photographer's Life. 1990-2005 by Annie Leibovitz. The celebrity photographer who has captured portraits of the Queen, Harry's grandmother, is visible. The couple also own Women, National Geographic Image Collection, a photography collection which reveals the lives of women from around the globe, accompanied by revelatory new interviews, and portraits of contemporary trailblazers including Oprah Winfrey, Jane Goodall and Christiane Amanpour. The prints seen on the world behind Meghan, meanwhile, were also reported to have been gifted to them by their close friend Oprah Winfrey. Shortly after, Meghan and Harry appeared in another video call from the same spot, when they had added a Celestine crystal to the dresser behind them. The stone is believed to be best used for pursuing spiritual strength and gaining understanding and promoting inner peace. And is also used as a focus point of meditation, prayer or mindfulness. In Megan's former lifestyle blog The Tig, she affirmed that meditation became a quietude that rocked my world. The couple also have more artwork on show elsewhere in the property, reading I Love California. The U.S. is obviously close to Meghan's heart as it is where she grew up and her mother Doria Ragland still lives there. While Harry's late mother Princess Diana was also said to have been considering a move there. In September 2020, the couple appeared from their garden for Time 100's primetime broadcast. The video showed just a small corner of the royal couple's grounds, which span 7.38 acres and are framed by trees including pines and cypresses. Though not visible, it is also believed that Harry has had several forget-me-nots planted in memory of his mother Princess Diana, as they were her favorite plant. It's located in Montecito in Santa Barbara. The neighborhood is renowned for its secluded hillside estates, that promise the utmost privacy, and thus have attracted a whole host of celebrities including Oprah Winfrey, Tom Cruise and Ellen DeGeneres, who own homes there. Harry and Meghan's property is situated on a private road with a lengthy driveway and large security gates. According to TMZ, the Duke and Duchess spent £11.2 million on the property. Such a hefty price tag got them 18,000 square feet on five acres of land. Inside, the house is a grand total of nine bedrooms and 16 bathrooms. Reports say that there is also a separate guest house with two bedrooms and two bathrooms which Harry and Meghan will no doubt use for other members of the family and especially Meghan's mother Doria, who lives close up in Los Angeles and will likely spend more time there when her new grandchild is born. The main house includes a library, an office, a spa with a separate dry and wet sauna, a gym, a games room, an arcade, a movie theater, a wine cellar and a garage with space for five cars. Outside, there is endless lawn space with tiered rose gardens, a tennis court, a tea house, a large outdoor pool and even a children's cottage for Archie and his new sibling to play once they are older. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, 
Would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.